Hello friends. So in today's session, I'm going to explain you how to extend root file system for Azure VM. For example, you, uh, your VM is available in Azure cloud and then uh, like uh, you want to extend a root file system. So how you will do? So I'm going to explain step by step in this session. So uh, you can see uh, my VM is a my VM name is a my VM one here, and this VM is available in Azure Cloud. Okay. So before I'm going to start this activity, what we have to do first, we have to stop the VM or deallocate. So in my, in my case, if you see my VM status is a stop and deallocated. Okay. Once you select your VM, then go to the disk section, click on the disk option. And here we are going to extend the root file system. So that root file system is available basically in the OS disk, right? So we have to click on the OS disk. So you can see my OS disk is this one. So when I'm clicking here, so I will getting more, more details about my OS disk. So now what I have to do, I have to click on the size plus performance. Once you click on the size and performance, you will get a skin look like this. So here two options. It's a predefined already, uh, like it's a kind of template. So you can select that one as per your requirement or else what you can do, you can manually also enter the uh, disk size as per your requirement. If you go below, you can see. So as of now, my VM is 64. So I'm going to extend 62 to 80. So I will give 80 here. And then you can click on the save button. Once you click on the save button, then updating disk. Now you can see successfully updating disk. So my disk is updated now. So again, you can click on your VM and then you go to the overview and now you can start your VM here. Okay. So let me now. So this is a, like this thing only you have to do on the portal level. Once you've done this thing, then certain command you have to run on your VM. So you have to log in the VM and then you can run that command. So I will show you that one also. So let me now take the IP. So this is IP. Click here. New session. This. Okay. So we can wait a minute. It's a login. Uh, like it's coming up that VM. Okay. Meanwhile, I will check the serial console also. What is the status of my VM? So now you can see my VM is a connect my console is connecting. Oh, okay. Anyway, I got the login here. So I can log in now here. So my I type my username. Once you type your username, then you, I can give the password here. So let me give the password. Okay, so now let me switch to root user first. Then let me clear the screen. Okay, now I will first command you have to use lsblk. So through this command, you will you will get the disk information and size. So my root, you can see this is a root mount file system is available inside sdb2 here, and this is coming from the sdb. So now if you see sdb is 80 GB, right? Now if you type here pvs, so you can see my 60 GB, PVS like PV is still 63 GB. I it's like my disk is 80 GB, but my PV uh, PV is still 63 GB. If you type VGS, same thing. If you type LVS, so LVS you can see here your root file system is a 2 GB. So here make sure when you are going to extend your root file system, be careful. Otherwise, you know, if you are not doing correctly, then maybe your VM will be corrupt and it will not boot up. Okay. Okay. So now we have all the information in here. You can see on the screen. Now, next command. So you have F disk. You have to run the F disk command. F disk and which device. So this is the device name, so sdb, we can give the slash dev and device name here. Okay, now hit enter. Once you hit enter, now you, now you type p. p means it will be print the previous status, what are the devices uh, available. So you can see these are the devices are available here. Okay, so my root file system is uh, available here, this one. 
sdb2 right so i am going to delete this one so what i have to type d d means i am going to delete once you de hit enter it will ask which partition you are going to delete so i am going to delete two so i will give two option here then hit enter again so now if you type again p you will not able to see that this device name here so this device is not showing here so now what i have to do i have to recreate again so i have to give n again and then partition number so by default two is checking so i will hit enter so it automatically it will take the two okay so again that uh, sectors also in the this but everything that value i'm going to give the default one so i have hit so now it's asking do you want to remove this thing so no i will not remove so i give him no okay now if you type here p again so now you can see that device now you see 79 gb here see earlier if you see it was 63 so it's a quit now what i have to do i have to save an exit so you type w and save an exit now if you type ls vlk command if you see here now your sdb is a 80 gb earlier if you see if you first command so <coughs> it's 80 gb also but if you see still that uh, might let me type here sorry pvs so pvs is still is 63 gb previous also it's a 63 gb i think so yes 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 Wait one second one second I run somewhere, command that. Yes, you can see here. So, what I have to do now? Next, I have to PV resize. So, you have to run that PV resize command. So, PV resize. And then you have to give the your device name. So, my device name is. So, in, maybe in your when you're doing in your system, that device name may be changed, right? So, make sure. So you give the correct device name sdb and then we, we can give that one this sdb2 okay so slash there and sdb2 now hit enter so my pv series size is done now if you type pvs so now you can see size is change here okay now once the size the pv size is changed vgs if you type here vgs is also reflected here but if you see lvs still same it's not changed here right so i need to extend the root file system right so now next command is lv resize sorry lv resize lv resize and then hyphen r and then hyphen capital L and then your size. So suppose I am going to extend 50G for example. Okay, so 50G and then you can give your so 56 GB available right here. So I can give the 50 GB and then you can give your uh, like a root file system. So I will give this VG and LV. Okay, now hit enter. So this is a logical path. Okay, path. Okay, so path means okay slash dev root. One second, let me give the absolute path. Root vg and What's the problem? What I'm giving wrong here? One second. Okay. Okay. So, okay. So you have to use this command. Okay, basically. So once you use this one, now you should type LVS. So now you can see your root volume is a change. Size is a change, right? Now, then what you have to do? You have to use xfs so which kind of file system you have so you can type df hyphen hp so you can see xfs so you can use then xfs underscore blue fs 
and then slash dev same thing you can use here what we used for this right so same thing we can use here okay so now if you type here now if you type dff and h also you can see your root file system will be 50 gb here so this is a way you can extend your root file system but that's why make sure when you're doing if you're giving the correct device name and selecting the correct when you're deleting the device selecting the correct device name otherwise your vm will be curved and it will not boot up okay so i hope uh, you like this video so if you like please subscribe and share and like thanks you thank you so much